Copper will be going up against Southeast Asia's mid laner Optimus, or as some have called him, OP Optimus. Well, he definitely proved that yesterday. Let's see if he does it again. Remember, SEA still need to win very convincingly. They need to get at least one more victory on the board. They've got two chances to try it here to put themselves up as the third seed from Team Fire. So, Oceania now, they can play spoiler. They can either help Brazil or they can hurt them. Because if they win these next two games, then Brazil move forward into the finals tomorrow. But if they lose both of them, then it is Southeast Asia that is guaranteed to move forward into the finals. So now Brazil's Brazil moving forward is entirely in the hands of Oceania. Yep. So they can no longer influence their own destiny, but they can definitely do something for either against or for Brazil. And uh, I'm just I'm just taking a look at what they're talking about. <laughs> here. Now, I hope they don't do this. Oh, I think that would asking, be hilarious. They're asking if they can Whoa, play. Whoa, don't, don't tell them. Don't tell them. Not yet, not yet, not yet. We're in picks and bans. If it happens, we'll talk about yeah, it. Yeah, if it we're happens. Sweep that one under yeah, the rug, yeah, yeah. but it's a Cassiopeia and a Pantheon <laughs> ban. <laughs> so Pantheon, we haven't actually seen many bans directed towards. Jace was able to get the win earlier on in the day, but these bands are coming out thick and fast. They're not trying to spell anything out. See, if I was banning, I would spell TSM, but I guess that's just me. Yeah, well, you wouldn't be the only one, but Caitlyn LeBlanc banned away. There's the Jace and the Kennen, so it all comes down to what they lock. 48 seconds remaining. Lucian is up and available. It had been banned quite a lot in the 1v1s, and we might actually see it come out here for uh, Opidemus. <laughs> Swiper. Now, um, I know for a fact that the previous hover is actually what he's relatively well known for in his local region. So he could very yeah, well have we... gone for that. But However, uh, the, Tom Kench. the Kench was left unbenched. And after a successful performance with the champion yesterday, it looks like Swipers are trying to repeat that success. Yeah, taking a page out of the Turkey playbook. We'll see if it works out. And on the other side, Optimus is going to lock in the Lucian. We'll see right. how it goes. Support versus AD Carry. So you need the snowball in there if you are... Um, Swiper to close out, uh, close the distance between you and your opponent, especially a ranged champion like Lucian who can heavily abuse you in the early game. Yeah, not only that, but Optimus will definitely want to be holding on to his relentless pursuit to dash out the way of the snowball. If he's able to save that for that moment, it's going to be hard for Swiper to get up in his face. It certainly is. Well, we've had a lot of. <laughs> I feel like we've had a lot of fun 1v1s, Pyro. Yeah, we have. Some of them have felt a little bit slow. Our some joy, some there. heartbreak, yeah. a lot of action, I a lot mean, of I snowball. feel like for the Oceanics squad, it's just been heartbreak. Like, literally their hearts have been smashed over and over and over again. And Pretty now much. I can understand why Rusty's just, he doesn't feel anything anymore. He's just anymore. dead inside yeah. now. <laughs> I can guarantee he's sitting in the back just... Just like another day again. in the Oceanic office. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, this just got really morbid. But you know what's not is the 1v1. It's going to be no, great. It's going to be, be Tom Kench up against Lucian. Um, question is, who's going to be on the menu this evening? Will it be grilled fish or will it be some Lucian? Chocolate Thunder. We might see. I think, in fact, it's safe to say we will. Guaranteed. It's a defensive start, of course, for Swiper as he has the Doran shield for a little extra sustain. And Optimus coming out the gates. You know, last time, uh, earlier on in, in the 1v1s, we, we saw a couple of times sweepers not even being taken. It was like one sweeper versus nothing. Yeah. <laughs> At least both of uh, picked up their trinkets. Yeah. So it looks like that uh, Swiper has decided to go for it very similarly to what we saw earlier on from uh, Carbon. He's going to be using it to spawn there out Optimus go. in the brush. Really nice usage. Going to wait for the minions to start, though. No more face checking. That was all the silliness of the beginning. A swiper could just launch a blind snowball in here, but there's always the chance Optimus could dodge. I wonder if he's holding his skill. Let's see if he leveled up first. No, he did. He gets piercing light, so he can't actually dodge at level one. So, so he's just going to go, go for the early push. Just going to Yep. Oh, try and push the minion wave underneath the turret. Swiper went early to Vower. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, he, one, yeah. he's going to do exactly the same thing as Optimus. Like, oh, you're going to go for early push? Well, I'm also going to go for early push. But the big difference is Optimus has a range advantage. So all of his basic attacks force Swiper back to the turret. Yeah, he's getting zoned off. He can't take these minions right now. And Optimus is just denying him constantly. That's not a good start for the OPL. I mean, another big problem with uh, taking your devour first is the fact that it uh, it actually has a very large cooldown so yeah sure it can be used to clear out those minion waves but in terms of the piercing light you just don't have the same sort of pressure as Illusion would yeah and since he's stuck on level one he doesn't have the great health to utilize right now optimus is going to get that level up and it's already a big advantage so he can play a much more controlled style it's kind of funny we see so many ad carries and they're playing for the 100 cs 
Well, I don't know if he's playing for the 100 CS just yet, because in fairness, like we've seen a lot of misfortune on misfortune level ones. Uh, we've seen a lot of, uh, a lot of honestly crazy stuff happen early on. But Swiper, he's just going to be forced to play on the defensive because of the the difference in champions that they're playing. So I don't expect too much bloodshed early on. Uh, it's really when Swiper hits level 3 that he might look to try and go for some kind of all-in. Something we also have to know is Optimus has actually swapped towards the Flash. Now, I think this is a much safer option, uh, especially when going up against the Tarm Kench. It will enable you to kite him much more, even if he is able to land the Snowball. Yeah. Swiper is able to get a little bit of CS back for himself, utilizing the Tongue Lash, getting the Devourer off. But Optimus has stayed completely healthy throughout all of this. So now that he has level 3, it'll be curious to see what Swiper opts for. It's going to be hard for him to even target Optimus, who's taking advantage of his position in the brush. Well, right now Swipe is just forced to sit underneath his turret. Being... Biding his time. Yeah, having to sit in the cold, a little bit chilly. You know, I do wonder where all the snow comes from, given that it never actually snows. Uh, I presume from the sky, but you got a good point. I don't have any existential <laughs> answers for you, Vettius, unfortunately. All I know is that uh, Swiper is in a load of trouble at the moment, and he's going to get the minion spit out. Just onto the wave, so he keeps trying to push this wave back, but you know, he is playing Optimus's game. Well, I mean, Optimus just has to take his time now, right? He is He has a very obvious win condition of I can farm to 100 CS before you can. Uh, I can also take your turret before you can take mine. Uh, so Swiper's only option is to actually go for an all-in, and right now he's just taking way too much harass. He's pretty much out of mana uh, already, and there is a 15 CS differential, and Swiper doesn't even have control over his health relic. So you can see the laugh on his face. He's like, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Someone, much you can please do help me. Um, and Optimus is even going to go back himself. So he's going to match the base timing. Swiper, without any real gold, is just going to force me to pick up more sustain. And Optimus is like, great, I can get more damage in my kit too. Yes, and uh, more swords is definitely going to beat a bit of jewelry. The Reju Rejuve Beat is only going to do so much right now. The Corrupting Potion is great, but Swiper has to start playing differently. Maybe this is all like a feint. Maybe he's just kind of playing back and trying to act like he doesn't know how to play Tom Kench, and then all of a sudden, wham, eats you. That's I really mean, like that the only way to goal. get it. Um, he is now level 4. If he wants to try and go for an all-in, he has to it, do it relatively soon, because uh, this Lucian is only going to get stronger and stronger. Oh. And missing skill shots is not a great way to start. Yeah, uh, he's definitely got to... Get a little better at that, and the snowball. So ah. now there is no threat left. Swiper does get a tongue lash, but Optimus has his health relic right there, and he's just gonna grab it once again. So Swiper posing a bit more of a threat, but he's already a huge CS differential. There's a damage differential. Optimus is not worried at all about this. No, he is not. And remember, for GPL, all they really Ooh. need is uh, as many wins as they can get to come out. Uh, come over Brazil in the one versus one. The this would this record. would put them over. If they can get this victory Guaranteed. right now. Yeah, I believe so. They just needed one more uh, beyond winning the three two. Let's get see. that one confirmed. Yes, uh, just hearing back from statistics, it is confirmed if they win this one, which means the next match uh, they can go out and be fun. But they have to put it away here. Optimus is looking to do just that. Oh, yeah. 4 to 21. For those that were interested, Swiper did propose a Trendemir on Trendemir matchup. Uh, <laughs> that might have been a little bit more interesting. Um, oh, Optimus dashed right into a Tongue Lash, but look at how much damage he's got. He's just going to go full calling. Going to full Swiper back. He does have the Grey Health. We'll give him a bit of regeneration back, but he is out of Corrupting Potion stacks. He is only level 5. He is just doing what he can to get a bit of farm, but this is not how you want to play Swiper. You have to be more aggressive. You have to be in Optimus's face, but he realizes the Flash that is on top of Optimus right now, and he's just contemplating his options, and I honestly feel like he really doesn't have very many. Yeah, well, he's just not making the play, unfortunately. And he even actually is oh, spinning the it. minion away Whoops. from the minion wave. So this is pretty much the opposite of what he needs to do to win. And Optimus is just honestly playing beautifully underneath this turret. Every time Swiper tries to get anywhere near the minion wave, he's getting hard punished. Yeah. So this is going to be a slow bleed out for Swiper at this point. I don't even know if he has much gold to buy anything. Nope, he's constantly going to go on the defensive. Boots will help him close the gap a little bit. He does have to snowball up once more. Now that he's level 6 as well, he'll get a bit of additional damage, and he'll be able to get back into lane faster. Yep. Not sure it'll do him as much good. He does launch a blind snowball, isn't able to connect on it, as Optimus is backing on top of the health relic. Shrine, Swiper's going to be able to pick his own up. That is just so rough for him right now, and Optimus is playing this out just about as flawlessly as he can as he goes back, picks up his phage. Now, this seems to be a repetitive build path from the GPL squad where they've gone for a very early phage and then they've built it into a bit of lifesteal. Um, 
largely it helps with the kiting, and I think that's exactly what you want to do against the Tom Kench, because his only real option is to go for an all-in. Uh, and so if you have all these tools like the Flash, the Dash, also the Phage, it just becomes so difficult for the Tom Kench to actually close the gap. So now Optimus, all he has to do is just continue dominating in the farm department, keep putting down that poke. Yes, Swiper, you're going to get tankier and tankier, but the damage has already been done. I mean, he's... He's coming up to a 30 CS deficit. Yeah, he needs to just get on top of him. If he can force the flash, he can try for it again in another couple in, in a minute or two. But he's just not making the opening. He gets a couple of tongue lashes here or there, and Optimus is just going to shake it off like it's nothing. It's 68 to 35 CS, and you're nearly double at this point. He can just leisurely stroll up to this tower. He could even take that. I mean, yeah, it's below 50% health right now. Um, we're in a similar situation to what Levy was in in the pre previous game, you know, like where you're down in farm. You're down in CS. Your only option is to go for an all-in, and Swiper might be trying to do it right now. He's trying. He's just going to force him back so he can take the health relic for himself. Snowball. And Snowball is going to just go wide. Yep. Nice zigzag from Optimus as he takes his own health relic, and Swiper gets you know, a brief moment to farm up a little bit, but not a whole lot else he can do. He does get one tongue lash. He does get another auto, but he's eating the calling, and he's going to have to pop his gray health. Eats him up, but he's ignited. Has to spit him back out. Gray health's on, but the minions are just too strong, and Optimus is dodging and ducking and diving, and that's it. Victory for Southeast Asia. You can see on Swiper's <laughs> face that he knew he was done. He realized that the moment he got into that game that there was no hope for him. And <laughs> at least he had a good time. The best part about that is, is it pans.